of all the RoboForce figures uh, in the main line, this was one that for some reason has become a little bit harder to find now. This is Cruel. Um, I don't know. He didn't have any kind of gimmicks. They didn't. They weren't really good at the gimmicks on this one to begin with, other than the action feature that they all seem to have, and I'll show you that right now. Let's move his arm up so you can see him actually clap or crush or whatever it is that they were supposed to be doing. It shoots the air into the arms. The arms do that. And that was... I don't know. You had a, a whole figure, a whole series based on robots, and that was the uh, gimmick that they came up with, as well as the uh, don't hang in, or uh, the, the hang in there kitty suction cups. I never quite got it myself, uh, but there you go. It was pretty cool. And I'll tell you the truth, uh, growing up, I was always kind of upset that I never got a chance to collect the RoboForce. I would have been eight, seven or eight when these came out. By the time we came back stateside, uh, they weren't on shelves anymore. So I had seen, I don't even think I had seen any cartoons or shows. We just got to see the advertisements. And by that point, they were long gone. So um, I need to live vicariously through you because you need to put these into your collection. I'm going to show you all the nooks and crannies if it'll, if it'll focus. You can see that sticker is still in great shape for uh, nearly... 40-year-old toy that is absolutely outstanding. The colors on this are so nice and bright, that purple and red. Now it's got some, some schmutz on there, some dust and dirt, a little playware as you would expect, and I think that's fantastic. That is um, the ghost of all those years of play that some young kid got out of this, and now's your opportunity. So head on over to thebigtoyauction.com. You can leave your pre-bids right now and check this one out. This is from 1984, RoboForce Cruel.